think if he just taps into you, he will steal. No! Oh no, my bottle! I just got that, you jerk! <laughs> Hey guys, it's Adam E.K. Swimming Bird, and welcome to The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D. Oh, hi, doggy, what's up? Ruff, ruff, where'd that Deku scrub go? When I see his face, I get all riled up. Don't bite that scrub, little pup. That scrub is me. So, last time, we defeated the boss, Oldawa, and finished Woodfall Temple, saving the Deku Princess and setting an innocent monkey free. Now, we'll be heading back to the swamp to grab some important things in just a second, but first, I wanted to catch this weirdo before the night's over. He plays music at the laundry pool on the first and second nights. Uh, la la la, they said I was much too loud when I practiced in my room. They got mad. Ah, uh, now I'm sad. I'll just think about the past to keep my mind off the bad. Ah, uh, yes, I'll do that. Dear spectator, long ago I was in an animal troupe with dogs and donkeys and such. Why could a, why could a, why could a man join? That's cause a man is an animal too, my boy. They were all great, but there was one thing I didn't like about it. Why was the, why was the, why was the dog the leader? Was it cause something was wrong with me, sir? Oh, that dog was an amazing leader. He always had a stellar troop no matter what animal he had to work with. That's why I, that's why I, that's why I stole it. The dog's mask, I stole it. I wanted it because it was the leader's mask, but I no longer need it, so I'll give it to you. This is the Bremen Mask. It belonged to the leader of the animal troop, try parading it around tiny young animals. The leader was a good instructor. His members matured quickly, and they became adults in an instant. So that was the first of three masks that we're going to grab before we travel back in time and then head off to the mountain area to try to do the next dungeon. But I wanted to ask you guys, in the comments, can you let me know, do you want to see more side quests or just want to see the main story? Now, we're going to try to 100% do everything in the game, collect all the masks, all the heart pieces, the whole shebang by the end of this playthrough, walkthrough. But I want to know what you guys want to see the most, because we can spend a, a bit more time in Clock Town trying to do some of the side quests and stuff, or we can just move on with the story and do the side quests later. So let me know what you would prefer. Right now I'm kind of mixing and matching, like this episode we're going to get some things that I definitely need to grab before we move on, but we're going to, you know, get on to the second dungeon here pretty soon. Now, for now we're going to go back to the swamp, and uh, the tour center, for some reason, is open 24-7, so we can just go right in here and talk to our girl, Kome. What's up, girl? Oh, thanks for what you did back there. As a special just for you, I'll let you take this cruise for free. Oh, but wait. Yes, just as I thought. It seems the poison swamp has been cleaned up, so why not try something that's more interesting? How about a little game? I'll fly around in my broom while you try to hit the target below me. Doesn't it sound fun? Well, wanna try? Sure. <laughs> that's the way to go. But let me explain, you're not aiming for me with that bow, you're aiming for the target. If you hit me, I'll never forgive you. So we need to basically take the boat cruise again, but this time we have something to do instead of just looking around. We have to use our hero's bow to try to hit these targets, and if we hit 20 of them, we get a special reward. In the N64 version, this was just a heart piece, but it's a little bit more important in this one. So yeah, we gotta make sure we don't hit her and uh, just aim for the targets. It's pretty easy. You can pretty much get 20 without trying too hard, because you have the whole boat cruise to do it. I don't know if I want to shoot her when she goes into the tunnel, because I can't see where she is. Don't want to accidentally hit her. But yeah, th we get, a, get to see a nice little look at the swamp after our efforts to clean it up have proven fruitful. I kind of miss the poisonous grape juice water that we had before. It, it went really well with the different colors and stuff around the swamp, but it's nice that we clean things up. A lot of people talk about the movie Groundhog Day when they play this game. It has a kind of a similar concept where you're trying to replay a you know period of time and learn what everyone's doing, how you can help everyone. But unfortunately, just like in the movie, you can't help everyone all the time. You have to kind of pick and choose. And in the game, you can help people once, get the reward, and then never help them again. It's a little sad, though. I kind of like, before I beat the game, I'll usually go back and beat all of the bosses again in one cycle so that we can kind of, you know, clean up the swamp, fix the other areas, and it changes the world pretty dramatically to do that. So it's nice to do some of that. You don't have to do it, though. You only have to do everything pretty much once. Oh, no! I accidentally hit her. I hope she uh, doesn't get mad and not give me the reward. I might have just gotten a point deduction, but we'll see. I've never actually hit her before, <laughs> so I don't know what happens. Uh, I'm a little worried now that we're not going to get our reward. Okay, I think we're almost back. There we are. But yeah, this, this game has a lot of movies that it reminds me of. Like I mentioned, Groundhog Day. It also, it kind of reminds me of Alice in Wonderland, or, you know, books as well. Uh, we went down into the Deku Tree. It was kind of like falling into the rabbit hole and uh, <laughs> through the looking glass and into this weird 
alternate world where a lot of strange characters live. And then also, one I didn't think about originally, it kind of has like a Wizard of Oz vibe, where there's all these characters that you know from the normal world, but they have different roles. Like, the witches are a good example. They're a boss in Ocarina of Time, but they're nice in this one. So yeah, it's like you get to see all these characters. It's like the Tin Man and the Scarecrow and the Lion and stuff being the farmhands in Wizard of Oz. Little kind of ex extra things that uh, if you're paying attention, you'll notice for people who have played the other game. But yeah, definitely a lot of different influences on this one, making it one of my favorites, of course. I think it is my favorite Zelda. 44 hits! Pretty good considering. Well, as I promised, here, take this. Okay, so she's not gonna penalize me too much for hitting her with an arrow. Here we go, we got an empty bottle, and now we have two. Now wasn't that fun? If you'd like to play again, come back and see me. <laughs> okay, so two bottles. For some reason, bottles are just so valuable in the world <laughs> of Zelda. And uh, now that we have two of them, we don't have to pick and choose with what we're storing. We can have our little uh, fairy in a bottle and also put a princess in there if we wanted. Okay, so I'm gonna head to the Deku Palace to get our second mask. Okay, we're back at the Deku Palace. And if you remember, the Deku Princess told us that we should head to the Deku Shrine because the butler had a little special reward for us as thanks for saving the princess and freeing that little monkey from being horrifically burned alive. So yeah, but we can't just get the reward, we have to earn it, and there's a little mini-game that we're about to play, probably the toughest one in Majora's Mask, at least for me. So uh, we're gonna do our best to do this on one try. I'm just gonna jump off here. It's kind of a tough jump to make with the scrub. You gotta skip five times, and uh, <laughs> if you miss that, you'll be sent all the way back. Okay, so this is the Deku Shrine. I kinda like being the scrub when I talk to him, and you'll see why in a few moments. Hello, old man, what's up? Oh, Link, I'm truly thankful for what you've done for the princess. As a sign of our gratitude, we Deku have prepared something that we think may assist you. I will lead you to it. He's got a cool flower umbrella. Please follow me. So he's supposed to be leading us, but it's kind of a race, and uh, it's going to be tough to keep up with him. This shrine is crazy. It's a giant, like, labyrinth. There's traps all over the place. You can see there's scrubs living in here for some reason. It's almost like a tomb, so why are they... I don't know how the scrubs are living in here. Don't they need light to grow? Oh well. Alright, so, uh, ooh, which way did he go? There he is, okay. You can just barely catch a glimpse of, of him, uh, like, around the corner, and that's how you gotta keep up with him, or just learn how to go through here. Otherwise, you might turn the wrong way and lose. Okay, so, oh, I'm gonna change back to Link here, because jumping is not the forte of the Deku scrub. Link is really good at it, though. He does these artful flips. I mentioned that in, in the first episode. I really like his little flips. He's he's even more like Peter Pan when he's just flipping through the air like that. He's kind of showing off like a little exuberant child. Okay, and I think the scrub might be a little faster if you uh, do the spin, so... Plus I just like using the scrub when I can. Okay, oh no. We got a little river here. This is pretty tough. Like I mentioned, if you, if you go the wrong way or you mess up, you're gonna have to start over, and it's a pretty long little chase here. I think we're about halfway through already, though. We just gotta do our best. This is a lot of stuff to protect the sacred treasure of the Deku people, and it's not really something that you would think the Deku would have. Ooh, there we go. There he is. Okay. Uh, yeah, the, the reward is a little strange for them to have, but I'm not complaining. We want to get it. And, uh, oh no. Yeah, this is like, <laughs> this is like overkill. There's spikes popping out of the floor. We gotta go on this specific path here. This is just like, I don't know, even Scrooge McDuck would probably not use this much security for his money vault. Alright, don't want to slide down there. We're doing good so far, though. Trying to keep up with him. But he's fast for an old man. Oh, there's boulders! Look out! Oh, we just barely got <laughs> got away from that one. We're doing okay. Just don't want to lose sight of him. Where did he go? Is he in this one? I hope so. There he is. Okay. We've almost caught up to him. Still not used to the, the weird little, like, root thing on the end of Deku Link's hat. It looks cool, though. It's a nice little visual improvement. I'm gonna use the bow here to do this instead of the snot bubble, since Link is the one who has to do these jumps anyways. There we are. Do some nice flips there, Link. I think we're almost to the end here, and we're almost to the second day as well. It's almost six in the morning. We're doing a weird little race with, uh, <laughs> with the Deku Butler. Am I going the right? There we go. I almost went the wrong way at the very end. And here we are. All right. There's a bunch of scrubs here to cheer us on. They're like, wow, he did it. The one's like looking around. <laughs> okay, we did your game, old man. Oh, well done, Link. Now, <laughs> here's the item I promised. Please accept it. He's, he's missing there. He got <laughs> cut off by the corner. 
We got the Mask of Sense. Wear it to heighten your sense of smell. <laughs> That's the smell of power. And I don't, <laughs> I don't remember it looking like this in the N64 one. Look at the back there. That's all I'm going to say. All right. Actually, when I see you, I am reminded of my son who left home long ago. I felt if, if I was once again racing my son. I may have tried too hard to run you. As old as I am, I am still fast, just like when I raced my son. Please forget my rudeness. You can find your way out over there through the light. I look forward to meeting you again. Link, take care. You're an honorable old guy. Thank you, Deku Butler. So yeah, the theory, which is pretty proven, is that the tree that we found at the beginning that looked a lot like Deku Link is actually the butler's son, and he was transformed. But his spirit lives on through us and the Deku mask. So we'll, we're going to see some more hints about that later, but yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty proven. Okay, so we're going to head to a new area, and then we'll finish up. All right, before the moon comes crashing down, we got one last stop in a new area near the Southern Swamp, and we're gonna get an important mask that is very helpful. Also, there's a new enemy. Oh no, this is Takari, and probably the most annoying enemy in the game. He will steal your items. I think if he just taps into you, he will steal. No, oh no, my bottle. I just got that, you jerk. Oh no. I know that he can steal your sword. I can't hit him with arrows. He just keeps dodging. So he can steal your sword. He can steal your rupees and apparently even your bottle. Oh man, so he flies off to Clock Town and he's actually in league with the Curiosity Shop owner. So if I go back there, I can buy it from him. But that's unfortunate. I wanted to show you guys what happens, but I regret it a little bit. I took one for the team. Okay, so this is the Milk Road and I'm gonna activate my owl statue. And I think we also wanna shoot down Tingle so I can get the map. The map is always cheaper for the area that you're in. Plus it's just fun to shoot Tingle out of the air every once in a while. So if you come here on the first or second day, the road to Romani Ranch will be blocked by a boulder, and there's a guy using a pickaxe trying to get through. He's working really hard, and on the third day, he finally breaks it. Tingle, tingle, kulu limpa! Had to do that. Uh, so he's over here taking a snooze. I feel bad for this guy. He's been working for three days, and finally he finishes, but the moon's gonna fall. I opened the way. Thank you. You are the unsung hero of Majora's Mask. So we can get here on the first and second day later in the game when we can get that boulder out of the way. And Romani Ranch is very important. That's where we're gonna head. There's a couple side quests at the back there. There's a little kid and she looks really sad. Some creepy stuff happens here and some very important stuff as well. So yeah, we will head back later when we can get here on earlier days. And we're about to go be reunited with an old buddy and meet a new character as well. But the mask that we get from the side quest is extremely helpful, especially early on. So we want to grab that, and the moon is almost down. We got a little bit of time here. <gasps> Look! Oh, it's our old pal. Haven't seen her since the first episode either. It's Epona. Aw, isn't that your horse? She's behind a big fence, though, where we can't get to her, unfortunately. And here's this little sad girl. What's going on? Hmm, she's not very talkative. Huh? You. Who? Who are you again? We're going to get our bomber's notebook entry for Romani. She was named after the ranch. Usually she's adorable and quirky and very energetic, but she's just sad right now. And if we put on my mask of truth, we can see what her puppy has to say. Come here, little pup. Oh, we don't want to talk to you. <laughs> she's just so sad. Well, I'll go into that later. I don't want to spoil it. Ruff, I hope my cute-faced owner stops practicing soon. I want to play. Poor little puppy. All right, and of course, Epona, I'm sad, but I can't get you out yet. Just stay put. I'll, br I'll bring a nail file back later on. You can kind of work your way out of there. So back here, two really cool side quests. Oh, the one on the left is probably one of my favorites. It's the puppy races, and we'll do that later. You can bet rupees on little puppies and they run around a track and it's adorable. But for now, we are headed into the Cuckoo Shack to do a quick side quest and meet a new character. This is probably the only time in a Zelda game you see little baby chick Cuckoos, and they are adorable. Let's go talk to this guy here. How you doing, buddy? Aw. I heard it from my gramps. It says the moon's gonna fall. With something that big, it's sure to take this ranch down with it. Huh. Oh well. I may as well stay put. I can't run like I used to anyway. He's a big old sad sack. <laughs> it's a Debbie Downer over here. My only regret is that I won't get to see these guys in their prime as roosters. If only I could move like I used to back in the day, I'd march these little dudes all around town until they grew big and strong. Ugh. <sighs> So this is the owner of the Cuckoo Shack, or at least the, the worker here, Grog. And he cares a lot about these little guys, despite his tough punk exterior. Now, normally we have to walk around with our Bremen mask and play a song 
and these guys will march after us, and it takes a little bit, so I'm going to make a game out of this. It's going to be kind of embarrassing, but this is a game that I like to play. If a song doesn't have lyrics, I will try to make up lyrics to it, and if you can fit the syllables of the song and bonus points, if you can rhyme, is the best way to do it. So I'm going to do my best here. This is a game that annoys Danielle, but I'm going to play it with you guys. So here we go. All right. After the first one, so you guys can hear the tune a little bit, as we march around and grab these little cuckoos. Okay. It's tough, you gotta make these up on the spot, but I'm gonna do my best. Okay, here we go. Just four lines. It's not gonna be too hard. I'm gonna try to do some rhymes if I can. Okay. <laughs> Embarrassed. Time to dance around and play you my song. It's a little thing I wrote just for you. If you don't like it, that's quite alright. <laughs> I will play it for the chicks. There we go. That wasn't too bad. I didn't get any rhymes, though. All right, let's do another one. Gonna dance around and stomp with my feet. Please, whatever you do, don't step on the chicks. They are destined to grow really big. Then they'll fly off and attack. <laughs> That's what cuckoos do best. Okay, here we go. Here's another song I'm playing for you. It's a marching tune you'll have to make do. Uh, cuckoos seem to like it. I'll never know why this song will make them grow. <laughs> there we go. I got a rhyme in there. Okay. Let's see if we can do another one. The moon, it is falling down from the sky. I've got a mask with birds on the eye. <laughs> This is not helping the moon ordeal, but it's for a special mask. Okay, one more. We've almost got all of them, I think. There's one over there. Cock-a-doodle-doo, the cuckoo, do you say? They will peck around and they will play. They've got tiny wings and little beaks. Now up to the mountain peak. <laughs> there we go. We got all of them. All right. And they're all turning into little roosters. Yay! Haha. -ha. It's awesome to see these guys grow up so quickly. Haha. -ha. And this is one of the only spots where we'll see the cuckoo in the game. Aw, they've all grown. I'm so happy for them. They're all grown up now. How did you do that? Just seeing these guys with a crest and all. I don't have regrets about anything anymore. I'm perfectly satisfied. Here, you can have this for me. Nothing fancy, just an old mask I used to wear in my running days. Aha! So this is probably my favorite mask in the game that's a non-transformation one. The bunny hood! My, what long ears it has! Would the power of the wild spring forth? Or will it? We'll see. Yeah, these guys are all roosters. <laughs> so we completed that quest, and uh, hopefully my, my songs were okay and not too cringy. Alright, so I'm going to put on this bunny hood and show you. This mask is really helpful. In Ocarina of Time, it didn't really do anything special, but if you wear it now, look! I'm so swift! I'm like the wind! I can run so fast with this. So yeah, this helps you get around a lot quicker than you normally would. I believe you jump uh, a little faster and farther too. Maybe. There we are. But yeah, it just speeds up running around. And before we get some of the later masks, it's extra helpful. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. I hope my singing was okay. <laughs> it's hard to make up stuff on the spot, but it's fun. Try it for yourself. I will see you guys next time for some more Majora's Mask 3D. Goodbye. What?